hello friends and welcome back to my channel uh, in my previous video we had created one active directory tenant on the azure and uh, this was our azure edit tenant virtual tech box hands on lab dot on microsoft dot com and we had created this user also on that azure active directory tenant I have registered this domain on the hostinger.com and I want users to be created on this domain like user at the rate virtual tech box dot tech so let's see in today's video what are all the steps to be followed to achieve that so i will go to azure portal and i have logged into uh, azure portal if i go to azure active directory this is the azure edit tenant which we had created in our previous video if i go to users so this is the user which was created in our previous video on this azure active directory tenant so first of all i will have to register the custom domain on my azure active directory tenant so on the uh, azure active directory tenant overview blade i will go to custom domain names and i will click here add custom domain i will give here my domain name which is virtualtechbox.tech and i will click on add domain so uh, by using this details of our custom domain i will create the txt record at my domain register so i will copy this value i will go to hostinger.com page I will click here on my domain. I will go to DNS or name servers and here I will create the txt record. So in the type I will select txt at the red and txt value I will enter here which I had copied from the azure portal. So this is the value which I had copied and uh, here I will have to provide the TTL value so I will take the TTL value from here which is 3600 and I will paste it here and I will click on add record ok so if I Go to, go to the record list here we can see here our record has been created so uh, this record will take some time to synchronize to the all DNS servers of the hostinger so uh, we will check this after uh, some time to check it has been updated or not I will go to command prompt and I will give here the command ns lookup hyphen type equal to txt 
and my domain name which is virtual box dot tech and I will hit enter here so you can see here it is returning the value similar to value present on the Azure portal which means the DNS record has been synchronized so I will now go ahead and click here verify so the message is coming uh, successfully verified the domain name virtual tech box dot tech so here our customer custom domain name has been verified in our Azure Active Directory I will click here and make it primary yes so now my custom domain is primary in my Azure Active Directory inside custom domain name you can see virtual tech box dot tech is showing as verified and it is the primary I will now go to users and this is the user which we have created on the Azure Active Directory tenant. I will go to this user and actually I want to migrate this user to the custom domain. So I will go to edit properties and I will modify the user principal name. Ashwag at the rate virtual tech box dot tech and I will click on save so user has been migrated again it will take some time to synchronize to the custom domain now I will go to Azure Active Directory and I want to create the new user into the custom domain I will go to users new user create new user create a new user in your organization username I will provide here Ahmed and here in the drop down we can see two options are available one is our previously cre created active directory tenant and one is our custom domain so i will select here my custom domain name i will provide here I will provide last name password I will generate uh, I don't want to add this user into any group these are the roles which I can assign to this user as of now I will keep it 
as the user role job title i will provide here department i will provide here company name I will click on create okay now I want to log into the Azure portal using this newly created user which is on the custom domain I will open the new tab in the incognito mode I will go to portal.azure.com I will provide here the login name Ahmed at the rate virtual tech box dot tech. Next, I will provide the password sign in. Now we will have to uh, set the password after entering the temporary password. I will confirm the password. Sign in. So here we have successfully logged into Azure portal using our newly created user on the custom domain and this is the uh, user I am at the thread virtual tech box dot tech So by this way you can uh, register the custom domain into your Azure Active Directory and you can uh, log in through the and you can manage the resources using the uh, users on the custom domain. I hope you find this video helpful. A lot of effort went behind this video. So do subscribe to my channel to encourage my work. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.